Hi, I'm Cow, and this is how I record guitars and stuff. You're gonna need an audio interface. This is a UMC22 by Behringer. Good interface. I used to use it all the time. I recently upgraded though, so I'm not. So I'm using this as a demo model thing. So y y this is for plugging stuff into your computer that usually doesn't plug into your computer, like this guitar cable. You might think, oh my god, I just plugged the guitar cable into the box thing. And it'll work. And yeah, that does work perfectly fine. And it sounds like this. I don't know why I'm pointing. I can't point at audio. But um... That sounds kind of weird, right? Like it doesn't sound like a guitar should. I mean, it sounds like a guitar, but it doesn't sound quite right. And that's because there's no amplification going on. So... How do you fix that without like adding stuff or buying stuff? Well, you can get like a free plugin online, or there's a bunch of different plugins online. Oh my god, there's so many. Some of them very expensive, some of them completely free. Here's how it sounds with a little plugin that pretends to be a guitar amplifier. And there you go, it sounds like a guitar now. Um, yeah. So if you don't want to mess around with a plugin, you can use something like this. This is actually for a bass, but it's kind of like that plugin but not a plug-in. <laughs> so you take your guitar, or well, in this case, bass, and you plug it in here, and you take another cable, you plug it in there, and then you plug that in to here. So th this white cable is the input from the bass, or whatever instrument you're using, and then this blue cable is an output to your interface, and then the interface records that output, and ta-da, this now is doing amplification things, and um, I've got one just over there that I didn't actually bring over here because it's plugged in plugged in right now um, for guitar so here's how the guitar going through the guitar one sounds not the space one you know? also it sounds like guitar being amplified good by guitar amplifier. so I, I use this while live or doing like live streams or recording videos if you see me using an electric guitar in my videos going through the guitar version of this that I have. If you see me using bass as well, it's going through this. Well, what if you have an amplifier that you want to use to record your guitar sounds? Well, you plug your guitar into the amplifier, of course, and then you need a way to get the sound out the amplifier and into the computer. Some amplifiers, like this modeling amplifier here, have outputs on the back, maybe like a quarter inch out, or in this case, a USB out. So you don't even need an interface. This does the interfacing for you. Can you plug it just directly into the computer? Very handy, very neat. I actually don't like this amplifier though. If you have an amplifier like this one, that's more analog, so like a tube amp or something, uh, maybe a solid state amp, you're going to need a microphone. There's a microphone there. I've also got a microphone here. Microphones go There's also a microphone up there recording me right now. Oh my god, wow. For a microphone, you're going to need an XLR cable. And it's pretty simple. You just take your XLR cable, plug it in the microphone, and then plug the other end of the XLR cable in the interface. And now you can record whatever the microphone's pointing at. Like my voice, which you're hearing right now, recorded through a microphone. Or this guitar amplifier, which if I recall something through this amp, through with that mic there, it sounds like this. And you know, go wild, record whatever, record, record some like cool melodica thing. Do, do whatever, you know? Microphones are the most multi-purpose. This microphone and like one of these are around the same price range. Only problem with microphones, though, is different microphones do different things, but this does different stuff. Like, you can't use this on an acoustic guitar, but microphones also pick up background noise. So if you're not in a quiet environment, it can be really hard to get, like, a clean signal without, like, I don't know, your dog barking or something in the background. Um, I'm... You might just think, oh, well... This person's voice is being recorded with, you know, just a normal microphone. It's going straight in. I'm actually using like five, four different effects on my voice to make it sound like this right now. Because otherwise it would sound kind of weird. So microphones can be incredibly finicky, but they're also the best multi-purpose. So if you're just starting out, I would recommend buying a microphone to record stuff with. Because then you can do 
your vocals, your guitar, your whatever you want to do. Record some like seagull background noise for your YouTube video or song or whatever. <laughs> um, I actually recommend the AT2020, which is what I'm recording my voice with now. It's a great multi-purpose microphone. Um, works well. That's how I record all the stuff, be it direct into an interface using plugins, with external digital effect thingies, with microphones, with... Yeah, there you go. See ya! <laughs> oh my god, that was an awful outro. That was terrible. Oh.